This video has been prepared by West Highland Housing to explain some of the features of your heating system. West Highland Housing have been able to fit these modern, efficient systems into your home with the support of the Scottish Government's decarbonisation fund. We have installed high temperature heat pumps with Sunamp heat batteries. The key objectives of the system is to reduce the cost of heating your home, reduce the direct and indirect carbon dioxide associated with your home, increase the energy rating of your home. The key components of your system are your high temperature heat pump, your Sunamp batteries to provide you with instantaneous hot water, your Sunamp batteries for space heating, the Sunamp controller, your thermostatic central heating programmer and your thermostatic radiator valves or TRVs on your radiators. Heat pumps are extremely efficient and are able to generate a minimum of 2.5 units of heat for one unit of electricity used in the process. This helps you use significantly less energy to heat your home. To further assist in the reduction of your running costs, the system has been designed to run on an economy 10 tariff, primarily running at the lower rate times. Your heat pump has been set to run automatically at the lower off-peak rate 2 on economy 10 times as follows. 4.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. 1.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. If your energy supplier's lower off-peak rate times are different to this, please let us know so we can reprogram your heat pump to run at times that match your energy supplier. The Sunamp controller also has a daylight saving function that will automatically shift the charging times summer and winter to ensure it always matches the off-peak charging window. Your system has hot water priority. This means that the hot water demand will be addressed before your space heating or space heating heat battery demand. At the lower rate E10 times, your heat pump will automatically start to run. The Sunamp controller analyses the state of charge in the heat batteries. If your hot water heat battery needs charged, this will be met and once the hot water battery is fully charged, it will divert the flow to your space heating. At the lower rate times, once the hot water heat battery demand is addressed but there is space heating demand, the heat pump will initially divert heat direct to the radiators assuming the space heating is being called for by your central heating programmer. As the rooms come up to temperature, the flow will be diverted to the space heating battery and continue until the space heating battery is fully charged. If there is no space heating demand to the radiators, the heat will be diverted to the space heating battery and the heat pump will switch off when heat and hot water demand have been met. The space heat battery can then be used to meet any space heating demand in the peak rate periods when your tariff is significantly more expensive, thus saving you money. The hot water and space heat batteries have been sized to minimise your use of peak rate electricity. Should the hot water battery be depleted during a peak rate period, the heat pump will deliver a partial charge, about 30%, to the battery ensuring you always have access to a supply of hot water. The battery will then receive a full charge at the next off-peak period. Should the space heating battery be depleted during a peak rate period, heat will be delivered at a lower temperature direct to the radiators. Similarly, the space heating battery will be recharged at the next off-peak period. West Highland Housing have prepared a range of videos to help you get the best out of your heating system. These can be found on our YouTube channel and provide information and advice around how to operate your central heating programmer, setting your thermostatic radiator valves and removing air from your radiators. Should you have any queries that have not been answered, please call, email or send us a message via Messenger.